Okay, we're back. We're live. It's Wednesday, 10 o'clock rock. I'm Jay Fidel, Think Tech. And we're doing today research in Manoa with uh, Andrea Gabrielli, Gabrielli, graduate student at the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology in the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology at UH Manoa. But today he's not there. Today he's in San Francisco. He's at the meeting of the, San the American Geophysical Union, which is a big deal. So we want to talk to him. We want to get a handle on what's going on in that meeting in San Francisco and learn as he learns what's going on in the, in the field of geophysics. Welcome to the show. It's nice to see your smiling face, Andrea. Thank you very much, Jay. Good morning, everyone. Nice to be here. Nice to talk to you from, from San Francisco. So, uh, Andrea, tell us, tell us what the Geophysical Union is. Um, when was it organized? Uh, who, who is involved in it? And what does it do with these meetings? With pleasure. So, basically, um, the American Geophysical Union meeting is the... Uh, the American Geophysical Union is the largest um, organization in the earth science um, in the entire world. It, it was founded in 1919 and it grew like exponentially from having just 20 members, 20 attendees were present in their first meeting, uh, which was in 1920 here in San Francisco. And right now, uh, last year, for example, we had more than 24,000 people attending from more than 110 different countries. That's so, major. When you compare that, say, uh, with the IUCN that happened here in Honolulu last summer, we had 10,000. This is more oh, yeah. than twice as many as one of the biggest conferences we here in Honolulu ever had at the convention center. Right. This is uh, um, this com this union is basically. Um, it's, uh, it, it, it spans from, from so many different fields in the geoscience. We're talking from, from earthquakes and, and volcanic activity, but even drought, hydrology, atmospheric sciences, and planetary science. And, 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 and uh, not only um, universities are here present with their research and their faculty people, but also uh, some federal agencies such as uh, NASA and Google, uh, uh, but also, but also um, the FLIR and other companies that are interested in sharing their products, their research, their future plans with the science community here in San Francisco. So oh, it's, not, it's not only the academic community. It's, absolutely. It's industry. Industry and, and, and federal agencies and universities. So it's really, really um, a large an extended meeting with, with so many different um, uh, events and things going on every day. Usually, um, I was talking to um, some, some, some friends of mine here who are also in San Francisco, and usually everybody starts around 8 o'clock in the morning with some, 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 uh, some breakfast and talks with colleagues, and then we're, we're off in, into, the, into, the, into the most corner center which gets his name from one of the mayor, uh, one of the former mayors uh, of San mm -hmm. Francisco. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, we're right in downtown, so attending conferences and lectures. And then uh, we have a huge poster hall. Um, so I, I believe we also have a picture of that. Yeah, let's take a look um, at some pictures now, Andrea. Okay, this is uh, the picture of the, uh, the poster hall. And there must be hundreds just within our view, maybe thousands even altogether. Uh, describe yeah. what happens here in this poster hall. So basically, um, these, um, um, the AGU meeting is organized in sessions. So um, every discipline, such as, for example, planetary science, uh, um, has uh, different sessions. So one session specific about uh, lunar geology, or for example, exploration of the outer solar system, or even Mars and other planets, impact craters, for example. And so it's organized in sessions uh, so that people can attend the sessions that they are most, most interested in. So here, uh, for example, you can see in these pictures, uh, this is the poster hall. We, we have thousands of posters, thousands of people presenting their research. And so what, you, what, they, what, what usually happens is that you have, you can, you have a, um, a program of all the, the sessions and all the people who are presenting there, and you can get a number 
So you can, it, it's really well organized, so you can walk directly to the session ah. you're interested in, and then you can talk to, uh, um, to the, the people who, uh, who are presenting. That's very and good. That, uh, that's very good. And, and, and this is the poster hall, so it's organized in such a way that a poster is, is hanged um, over there in place around uh, in the morning, about 8 a.m. in the morning. And then the people usually leave a sign next to the poster saying, I will be here between this time and this time. So people can go and, 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 and talk. Sure. Everybody uh, wins. <laughs> everybody wins, absolutely. And, and, so, um, and, and so this is a poster session. But then there are also um, other kind of sessions which are presentations. So usually, uh, usually there are presentations. So there are talks which are 15, min 15 minutes long. Yeah, we're They're looking now at a photo of a talk with a huge big uh, TV screen. Somebody, Absolutely. somebody is presenting on something. So, um, can you describe this photo for us? This is this is the NASA booth. So you can see this is NASA. These are NASA scientists presenting about the most recent missions. So you can see it is really well attended um, because AGU with all these talks and all these this, this, uh, uh, different agencies present is a fantastic place to, to get to know more people and even start new collaborations, showing new ideas and, 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 having, um, and having more projects. Well, let me, let me ask you about that. Uh, and uh, Andrea, uh, you know, you, where you go, you said you had some friends in San Francisco, but do you have friends at the conference? Um, do you have colleagues that you already know that you plan to look up that you have met by, by agreement at the conference? Absolutely. In fact, um, for example, uh, the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology, which is uh, the institute I work at, uh, is basically present uh, with. Uh, um, 20 plus uh, oh. uh, events, uh, um, I mean, uh, with, uh, which include basically talks at sessions uh, and also posters. So um, I was one of the first who presented here because I was on Monday morning. Uh, so I, I believe we have a picture of me, uh, I think, standing <laughs> next there to you the... Are. <laughs> so, so just to show how it looks like, I mean, uh, yeah. these posters. So the, the posters are, are actually quite big. They are one of the, um, the such, um, very big posters compared to other conferences. Yeah. But so I was one of the first who presented here in San Francisco. But some of my colleagues who are also present uh, will be uh, talking on Thursday. So, uh, for example, my uh, supervisor, Professor Robert Wright, is going to talk on Thursday morning about uh, um, a new... Uh, thermal hyperspectral imaging camera, which we developed, ah. and, and we're still working on this. Ah. So I, I, I presented some uh, results for some inversion algorithms, so the, some software to basically retrieve um, SO2 gas and other uh, pollute um, chemical substances in the atmosphere and retrieve quantities. So how much gas in this, is in the atmosphere? That was so, that your poster? That's my poster. So we presented um, some of these results. And, um, but for example, um, other topics that, are, that will be covered are um, impact craters. For example, Pete Morghini's mark uh, presented on Monday morning. He gave a talk and he explained some, some uh, impact craters on Mars, so some very, so, some uh, in geological uh, terms, uh, these are craters that are fairly recent, recent on Mars, so he was looking at the deposits and all that. And then we, we, <clears throat> and then we have some, also some old friends who joined us from Europe. So <clears throat> there are people uh, who, were, who were at the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics, but then they moved on to other places such as Los Alamos uh, National Laboratory here in the US or the European Space Agency. Uh, and so uh, it's also a great a great way to talk to people who who they're not here anymore. So it's also uh, join uh, old friends and share uh, experiences and results yeah. uh, and all that. You you talked about uh, finding ways to collaborate, and I'm always interested in that. 
So you're sitting there in, in, the, in the great hall, maybe the great hall of posters and schmoozing with somebody, and then you have an idea. And he says, yeah, that's a great idea. And then you say, why don't we work on it together? Is that what happens? Absolutely. Because usually, for example, I, I'm going to give you an example. While I was standing uh, presenting my poster, there was this guy from uh, the, the, the State University in New York. And, and he came and he was very interested because he had seen before uh, some work by Paul Lucy, who is a, a professor here at the University of Hawaii. And so he's very interested in these um, 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 hyperspectral imaging sensors. So what he's doing now, uh, uh, the University of New York is trying to build some new sensors and they are interested in the work we're doing because ah. uh, they would like um, they would like to um, use uh, um, our uh, for example the the software to retrieve gases that I uh, that I and, and John Porter who is also a researcher at the HIGP developed but the interesting thing is uh, uh, one of the applications for, of this technology is that we, uh, we, you can use uh, we can you can um, use it to detect gases such as we're doing, but you can also use it to um, detect camouflage targets or identify rocks or other materials from the distances, and that is what they're interested in. So they are interested in a slightly different um, subject, but the technique that they're trying to develop is very similar, and so this is why we started to talk what uh, the way we're doing it the way they are doing it and so it's just excellent to 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 share ideas and yeah but you don't hold back huh? you tell them everything you're doing they tell you everything they're doing um this is a completely candid conversation nobody is being particularly cautious about it you share isn't that what happens um well you have to be a little cautious because especially if the results are not published of course because yes. if there is a paper which is published then you can refer them to the to the paper but yes. it, 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 i mean uh, usually talking about ideas and talking and, and sharing these things is, is extremely is extremely good and, and and for example what we did um um on monday night we had we had a dinner with uh, all of the people who are currently or were in the past uh, at the University of Hawaii, at the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology. And so this was an excellent way to uh, meet, um, um, again, uh, colleagues and former people and former uh, collaborators. But then also, AGU uh, organizes also events for the broader community. So yesterday we had... Um, uh, a gathering with all the volcanology, all the all the all the volcanology presence uh, uh, at the Marriott here in downtown in San Francisco, and I, and, and that was also a, an excellent way, uh, especially in front of you know food and some drinks. Yeah, well, you need you know to go to a conference like this, you need to take a break, and here at Think Tech, we need to take a break too. So we're gonna <laughs> take a break. <laughs> we'll be right back with Andrea Gabrielli. We'll be right back. Hi. I'm Stacey Hayashi with the Think Tech Hawaii show, Stacey to the Rescue, highlighting some of Hawaii's issues. You can catch it at Think Tech Hawaii on Mondays at 11 a.m. Aloha. See you then. I'm Ethan Allen, host of Likeable Science here on Think Tech Hawaii. Every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m., you'll have a chance to come and listen and learn from scientists around the world. Scientists who talk about their work in meaningful, easy to understand ways. And you'll come to appreciate science as a wonderful way of thinking, way of knowing about the world. You'll learn interesting facts, interesting ideas. You'll be stimulated to think more. Please come join us every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. here on Think Tech Hawaii for a likable science with me, your host, Ethan Allen. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, exploring the world we live in, recognizing the changes around us, and looking into the future of our lives together in these islands. Great content for Hawaii from ThinkTech. We're back. We've taken our break. We're back with Andrea Gabrielli, who joins us by Skype from the meeting of the American Geophysical Union uh, in San Francisco, California. Um, and, um, you know, uh, talking about breaks, uh, Andrea went to a, uh, a meeting of Google 
And I, we have a photo of that. And Adrian, perhaps you could explain what was going on in your meeting with Google. Absolutely, Jay. So this, uh, um, here we, have, we are inside the Google San Francisco headquarters. And so um, Google was present at the, at the American Geophysical Union meeting with the booth and also some, some events, some, some workshops to train the scientists about some products that Google has developed for um, Earth science data and, and data processing, particularly from satellites. So here you can see um, one of these events. We are in, the, in one of Google's conference room here in San Francisco. Um, the, the location is, uh, is like 20 minutes walk from the, the most corner center. That where, that's where there is the American Geophysical Union yeah. meeting. So yeah. it's quite convenient. You can easily get there and, 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 you, and you go there. So basically, Google was, was uh, um, in, is interested in the American Geophysical Union, particularly because of the, their um, Earth Engine platform. Yeah. So the Earth, the Earth Engine platform is, is a platform that, that Google developed for processing of images, and particularly satellite data. This so, is an extension of Google Earth, yeah? And yeah, it's sort of an extension of Google Earth, but it's much more powerful because you can base, it's a platform. So basically you can code, you can write your own programs. You can write your own processing tools and algorithms. And for example, you can process Landsat data in a, in a, in a very effective ways. So Landsat, Landsat is a satellite by, by NASA which takes images of the Earth. And so you can use these images to monitor uh, a variety of things such as natural hazards uh, or, or, or processing which are happening on the Earth. Yeah. So what strikes me is that uh, Google is, um, I didn't know that Google was into science. I didn't know that Google taught scientists. I didn't know that Google followed the geophysical phys uh, union meeting. Uh, and that it wanted to be part of the whole scientific advance in this area. Does that surprise you? Um, um, it's, uh, well, this is, this is what really um, Google uh, is about, because Google is, is uh, they have products for the people, for the public, but it's really, it's really um, uh, a research organization. It's a private it's a company. It's a research organization. And... Uh, one of, the, one of the Google people who was there to meet the scientists at the American Geophysical Union was telling me that um, the, the AGU is, is, their, is their favorite part of the year because, <laughs> because they, can base, they develop these tools for the, science, for the, for the scientific yeah. community. Yeah. But in this, this time of the year, is great for them because they can actually talk to the scientists to get feedback about their product. So how is, is our product useful to you? What kind of changes you would like to see in the program and, and, and things like that. So it's absolutely, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. this, this kinds of, the, the, as I said, the kind of collaborations that, yeah. that, 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 that start in, in, in this kind of meetings and particularly yeah. the, this, the, yeah. the American Geophysical Union meeting. Well, let's go to the next photograph. I'm really getting excited about the depth and breadth of this meeting. It goes everywhere. What's this now? This looks like a, another hall. Oh, no. Uh, the, the, the next, th th this picture is basically uh, the most corny center here in San Francisco. This is the, the location of the conference. So yes. I, I, I took this picture just to show uh, how it looks like. And you can see, and, and actually, the interesting thing is that I took these pictures um, around the, uh, 8 p.m. I, I was leaving. I was going for, for dinner with, with some colleagues and friends. But uh, what I, what's interesting in that is that you can see there even 8 p.m. There are still people going in and out of the of the location of the conference because uh, I mean a, as I said these are really really um, full full days. As I said, they start 8 a.m. in the morning and they and they just continue with, with, with meeting dinners and, and uh, even, even, in, uh, even at night. That's great. This, we can learn from them in, in conferences here uh, to, you know, to take advantage of the fact that people are together and that there's possibilities of collaboration and to squeeze that lemon for everything you can get out of it. And, 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 and it's amazing because, as I said, 
there are more than 110 countries uh, uh, that are represented here. So it, it's, um, it's particular. I mean, as I said, the extent, the extent of this conference uh, is, is just great. Yeah. Okay, we got one more photo. Let's look at that. Hmm. The last picture is, is uh, um, oh, this is, as, as we, since we were mentioning the importance of uh, the fact that not only, not only universities are present, but also uh, external exhibitors such as, as I said, Google and NASA, uh -huh. but even, even companies that actually build sensors. So sensors that scientists might use. So here we're looking at the exhibit hall. So that, that's basically the, the place where all the external uh, exhibitors were present. And also, uh, since this conference is also well attended by um, students, um, uh, even undergraduate students who, who comes and, 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 and because, if, if, because they're interested in science and would like to learn more about graduate programs at the university. So what, what's the, uh, there's a reference uh, in this photo to the 2019 AGU fall meeting. Uh, what is that? Does it happen every what? Three years or two um, years or what? No, no, no. no that, this that's just a sign that it's changing uh, over time. Basically, was telling that the the locations of the next uh, AGU for 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 next year. It happens. Um, that's a good question. So yeah, it happens every year, every year, and usually uh, the first me. Uh, usually, it's it's held here in San Francisco, but. Uh, there's going to be some renovations on of the Moscone Center. So basically, uh, next year, 2017, is going to be in Louisiana, in, in New Orleans. Are you going? Uh, probably I will be going, <laughs> yes. And, 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 two th and then 2018 will be Washington, D.C., so it, it will be in the capital. And then uh, 2019, it will be back in San Francisco. So that sign is, is basically saying that in 2019, it will be back in San Francisco. Yeah. One other uh, thing about the, the industry there <clears throat> and the, ex, uh, the exhibit hall that you, that you were talking about, <clears throat> is this an opportunity for suppliers, maybe sensor manufacturers, what have you, uh, to make deals with universities, with researchers? Is it an opportunity for you to make deals with them, either to help them develop their equipment or to buy their equipment for your work? Absolutely. That's exactly what the, exhib the external exhibit hall is all about. So the, 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 the agencies such as NASA and Google are interested in sharing their plans so that scientists can engage with them in projects. But companies uh, such as, for example, FLIR, who develops uh, um, infrared sensors, uh, is there to try and make deals with universities and scientists to try and sell their products to people who might be interested in for some research. Sure. And, also, and also universities are there to try and make deals with, 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 uh, with these companies because uh, they can tell them, uh, the researchers can tell them face to face, in person, with, with really direct conversation, what they need, what yeah. they're interested what in, they need, and, yeah. and, 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 so, and so that's excellent for, 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 for everybody. Yeah. Now one other thing, and I wanted to ask you before we, we conclude, and that is, what, what caught your attention in this, uh, what has caught your attention in this conference, Andrea? What have you learned? Who have you met that leaves a lasting impression for you? Well, my research at the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology is mostly about uh, um, developing sensors for remote sensing and monitoring gases and, ar and aerosols in the atmosphere. So I was particularly uh, intrigued and amazed by the fact that uh, a very important professor such as Terry Gerlach came uh, to my poster, for example, and he had um, very uh, good comments uh, for the work that my uh, that th this group, which is led by Robert Wright, is is uh, is uh, is carrying out, so he was particularly interested in these um, inversion algorithms that uh, that we are developing. Because uh, um, one of the main things is that uh, these inversion algorithms are based on differences between uh, um, the temperature, brightness, or between radians that we can measure. But the, the, uh, uh, but we, the approach we are, we are introducing is basically 
uh, having a single point measurements which, which can really tell the concentration of the gases. So people were very interested about this work. And, 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 and also um, something that I learned, uh, the, 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 the most, uh, the, the, um, well, I attended this, this Google uh, workshop. So this tool that they developed for processing satellite data is, is particularly is, is great. Oh. And, that's, and that's exactly what, what we will uh, eventually be doing because the, the, the sensors we're developing, now we are just testing them here on the ground on detecting gases, but eventually the goal will be to develop a, a space platform with these, uh, with these satellites. So uh, once we will do that in the future, then the key would be looking down from space and then we might be end up using these tools that Google is developing. Oh, so that that's was, great, great. That was ab absolutely, absolutely <clears throat> great. So this yeah. is the kind of thing, you go to a conference like this and your eyes are wide, you spend the whole day, the whole night trying to connect and suck up information and get ideas, that really makes it worthwhile. It sounds like it's been very productive for you. And I, I must say, I'm, I'm very impressed with the fact that 20 people have, 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 have joined you uh, at the conference this year. And I, I think Hawaii and HIGP and SOEST, uh, they are leaders in this area and they play a role at conferences like this. Thank you so much, Andrea Gabrielli graduate student at Hawaii Institute of Phys Phys uh, Geophysics and Planetology in the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology uh, at the university, reporting live from the American Geophysical Union meeting in San Francisco. Thank you so much, Andrea. My pleasure, Jay. My pleasure. We'll see you when you're back. <laughs> oh.